Shalom Israel, first and foremost. I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the house of David. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching us truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you, Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. And to those that have passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. All right, I'm doing this video because, uh, you know, of course, this, this incident in Jersey City with the Jewish people and the cop getting shot. And all of a sudden, they throw in that the guy that perpetrated the shooting used to be a Hebrew Israelite. First and foremost, yesterday, I could have sworn that it was a white man. Yesterday, I could have sworn somebody was saying that it was two white men. Now it's a white man and an East Indian woman because the woman looked East Indian. And uh, Francine Graham. Which is funny because they're, they're, they're basically playing on our common sense it's the same thing with the dc sniper the dc sniper went from a white man in a in a white van to a black man and and a, a eight, 16 17 year old kid in a blue chevy or some shit like that it, it the 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 vehicle drastically changed to something that didn't even make fucking sense how the fuck are you gonna do are you going to lay across the trunk and have good enough sight to, to take a shot at somebody? Like, that made no sense. The DC sniper was a sham. I don't believe it was David Allen Muhammad. You know, you, you, you change the, uh, the, uh, type of vehicle to something that's totally different from the one that was originally reported. You know, I could see if it was a, a white Ford and then, oh no, it was a white Mercedes Benz truck. You know what I'm saying? No, it was, a, it was, it went from a white truck, a white van to a damn, uh, a blue Chevy or some shit. It was a sedan or, or either a sedan or a coupe. But it, it was one of those, you know, it, it's that profound, the difference. So yesterday it's a, it's, it's two white guys. Now it's a white man and a. Excuse me, now it's a black man with dreads and an East Indian looking woman. You know, give me a fucking break, man. First and foremost, we already we already know that the news twists and turns and, and fucks up stories so bad. Like, all you need to figure out whether the news is telling the truth or not is write down every single version of it. And granted, a lot of these these news people, they be stupid as fuck anyway. They be you know, they'll they'll go to, to they'll go to the scene and listen to any old body give their rendition of what happened. So granted, yeah, you you, you have it, it is realistic that it could have you know they could have spoken to some fucking crackhead that said it was white people, and now all of a sudden it's black people. I don't believe this shit for a, for a minute. And what I don't, what I also don't believe is that the guy was a Hebrew Israelite. I mean, by blood, by ethnicity, because what they have to understand is Hebrew Israelite is more than a religion, it's more than a faith. Black, Hispanic, and Native American people are Israelites. You know, so if you want to say that, that he was an Israelite, and, and admit that black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are Israelites, then be my guest. But if not, then what you're going to do is you're going to say, oh, this guy, and, and, and it clearly says that he used to follow the faith. It clearly says he used to follow the faith. And my whole thing is, in all my time here, I'm from New Jersey, that guy doesn't even look familiar. I can't say that I've ever kept a holy day with him. I, I, I can't say that I, that I, and it's funny, I'm, I'm pretty, I hate to, you know, big myself up, but I'm pretty well known among Israelites in New Jersey. You know, I mean, I'm not saying they, that, that I'm best fucking friends with everybody, but if you're an Israelite in New Jersey, you know, it, it's a good chance that we've either broken bread before we've talked, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna completely be ignorant of you. And this guy, I've never seen him before. You know, like I said, I, I never remember breaking bread when anybody looks like him. You know, uh, I never seen him stop by a camp. It, it's just like, uh, who's the guy that shot up, Colin Ferguson? Colin Ferguson, they said he, he was an Israelite because he went to a few classes in, uh, to my understanding, House of David. 
So just because a motherfucker goes to classes or 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 he might have been stopped by a camp and listened to him for a minute, they said he practiced the Hebrew Israelite faith. I don't know what narrative they're gonna say. I don't know how deep they're gonna say he was into the faith. But for him, for them to say he was practicing and they heard some religious chants and shit, you know, I, honestly, it, it it just doesn't surprise me how how bad of a story that they're that they're writing. But the worst part about it is they said he used to be Israelite. You, you, you know how many fallouts we have in this in this in Israelites? My camp alone has I, I would say at least 10 fallouts. At least. At least 10 fallouts. And and by fallouts, I mean dudes that's not even going out and hitting the streets at all to teach the word of the Lord. They fell all the way out. Not that they they left us and went to go do something else. No, they fell all the way out. You know? Um, I mean, what, what do you think that is? That, that's, that, that's, that's false persecution. Like I said, they did it with Colin Ferguson trying to say he was... He, he went to, to uh, classes at HO, uh, House of David. I don't know if it was the House of David that the... Amb ambassadors of christ used to be or if it's the, the house of david in brooklyn but he he went to some israelite school classes doesn't make him a hebrew israelite meaning that it doesn't mean that he followed the faith clearly if you go up on a damn subway in new york and you shoot up the subway you're not following our instructions because we specifically tell you not to take up arms in this in this kingdom to fight against you know to to think that you're you're fighting against the, this beast somehow this war here is a spiritual war. You know, now if you have a gun and, and, and you know, you just have a gun, that, that's on you. You know, but but in no way, shape or form are the Israelites ever, at least the ones that believe what I believe. And, and when I say what I believe, I'm talking about even other groups like, like uh, you know, like I said, to a degree, I, I guess you could say like there's a box that, you know, they, they went to, to the gun range and all that. That's not that. That's not us. Zabak and them don't believe that we're gonna attack in this kingdom. No. When when we do, like, get physical, and and have a fight against the so-called white man, we're gonna have spiritual power. We're gonna have spiritual power to fight that war. It's not gonna be with guns. The fight that we're trying to fight is not gonna be with guns. The guns in our fight is gonna be the guns that y'all use to try to fight against us because we're gonna have so much spiritual power. That you're gonna pull out every stop trying to trying to stop us, or trying trying to trying to uh, subdue us. You know, but to subdue us, all, all you're doing is is trying to stop us from defending ourselves. The the only violence that a Hebrew Israelite would commit is in self defense. If a guy went to a fucking place and shot people that weren't doing shit, then that's not our instructions. We didn't tell them to do that. We don't do shit like that at all. We don't tell nobody. You know, go and fucking kill, kill the white man. Nah, we don't do that shit. We don't do that shit. So that narrative that you're 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 saying, oh, he listened to a hate group, and uh, I already know where they're going with it. I already know. First off, the guy has dreadlocks. Although there are Israelite groups that that, that tolerate dreadlocks, and and most Israelite groups condemn dreadlocks. Most Israelite groups teach that when you read the scriptures and it talks about locks, it's talking about braids. It's not talking about dreads. You know, so, I mean, listen, they're going to do it. And then, and then, and then Vocab Malone commented on my brother's, uh, my brother's video kind of being a little smug. See, that's the thing with people like Vocab Malone, like, okay, you're so Christ-like but you want to be so fucking smug. Christ wasn't smug. Yahweh Shai was not smug. He was sarcastic, but he didn't have that proud ass, puffed up, arrogant attitude that you got. It's just funny to me. And 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 unlike, unlike Yahweh Shai, unlike you, Yahweh Shai didn't go around trolling people. Yahweh Shai was everywhere where it was happening at but he wasn't over there trying to 
constantly, you know, following around the the, uh, the Pharisees and Sadducees and, and 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 bothering them. You know, he shut them down when they were around, but it wasn't like he went looking for them and shit like you do. He didn't formulate a crew, a group of people, to to bother or to troll the 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 Pharisees and Sadducees like you're doing. You know, and to try to bust your ass to, to, you know, prove us wrong when you can't. He said we have an imaginary. You know what though? But I'm not gonna get into into that demon right now. Right now, it's all about, you know, the 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 situation with this with this false flag because I believe it's a false flag. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna hit you with something. I'm 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 on uh, Instagram. I have a. a person on, on my Instagram that I don't even personally know who, who not only her but people that are following her on 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 her Instagram page because she lives in Jersey City I believe she's a postmaster or some shit like that she she works in the post office in Jersey City and she feels that it's a false flag so if a civilian is talking about it's a false flag what do you think what do you think people that actually are into uh so-called conspiracy theories and, and shit Gonna, gonna do with this they're gonna tear it apart man just like that 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 uh that blatant false flag was that shooting at that at that club in uh that gay club in florida the orlando pulse that shit was a clear false flag that shit had people reporting injuries in parts of their body the next day that same like like he got shot in his hand but then the next day he opens his arm to some officer or some shit to give him a, a hug and his hands are perfectly fine. Like false flags, cause they cause American people are stupid enough to believe this shit. I tell you, American people are that stupid to believe in anything. They'll the, I, I already have my, my fucking Facebook, my Instagram. I, I, I'm following this chick who who put R RIP to the police officer. Which I'm not saying no police officer got shot. I'm just saying it's a setup. Regardless of whether somebody's really getting shot or or in the Pulse nightclub where people ain't really getting shot, but they're putting actors and shit. You know, wh whichever one it is. You know, it's still, it's, it's all false flags, man. It's all false flags. It's all, you know... Whether whether the actual shooting is real, it's like 9-11. I can't account for the people that they said died in it. I don't know whether people really could have gotten on an airplane and they would, could have done whatever with the fucking airplane, you know what I'm saying, and and the people that were in it and, and sent them, them fucking drones. There's a lot of things they could have done. They have the technology to do a lot of shit. With CGI, they can make that motherfucker black, even though they originally were saying that he's a white man. That's why the scriptures say, no kingdom, no house that's divided against itself will, can stand. Because it's about getting your fucking story straight. If, if CBS News is saying that it's a white man, then ABC should be saying it's a white man. Uh, WB, whatever, Channel 11 should be saying it's a white man. Channel 9 should be saying it's a white man. Fox 5 should be saying it's a white man. But if 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 Fox 5 says it's it's a it's a black man, uh CNN saying it's a white man, you know what I'm saying? Then then it, 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 the people are going to be like, "Yo, who the fuck is right?" Your own president says, you know, talks about how media be fake, fake news and shit. He coined the phrase fake news. He coined the phrase. So you guys have to get your motherfucking story straight. You know, because, <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, I mean, at the end of the day, listen, the Israelites, they're coming for us. They might not, they, this might be a precursor. They might one day do the same thing, but they'll, they'll be like a practicing Hebrew Israelite did this. Instead of, Right now, they're making it, oh, somebody it used to be. Because what they're doing is it's a war on the minds of the people. 
it's a war on the minds of the people to get them to turn on the Israelites and to say, oh, well, you know, these guys already be out on the street cursing out people. You know, these guys already be out in the street saying 9-11 is a big lie. The, the Holocaust is a big lie. They got a video of, of Sakari uh, getting their boots licked and all that and calling them disgusting bigots. You know? Disgusting bigots. <laughs> calling them, you know, calling them that. So we're already being demonized. That that demonization has already been underway. Hell, I'm going to hit you with something. We, we demonized ourselves because our, our, our approach in the 80s and 90s was very, but it, but it was also no nonsense. It was also, it, it was so, so militant because it had to be. You know, but we've grown up since then. But nobody's going to remember the new images. They're going to look at the old images and say, oh, see, these guys used to be, you know, they used to do this. They used to do that. And they'll still make us look like like we're we're, we're so, so violent. And, and, and the thing is, the Israelites, we're not violent people. We talk violent. I'm going to keep it real. The only time that you have to worry about something happening to you at the hands of a Hebrew Israelite if you try to harm a Hebrew Israelite. Now, I'm not going to say that. You don't have Israelites out there that are violent hearted, but we, they don't get that instruction from, from us or the scriptures. The scriptures specifically say, wait ye upon me. We're waiting for Yahweh Jesus to come back. If Jesus ain't back, you guys ain't got shit to worry about. The only thing you have to worry about is just keep your fucking hands off of us. That's it. Cause we have no problem beating the brakes off of somebody that, that, that tried to harm one of us, but that's it. We, we're not. We're, we're not into retribution. We're not into, oh, we're going to get divine punishment. No, nigga, we ain't got no, we ain't got no fucking power to, to, to bring divine punishment to, to you fucking devils. We don't, we don't have it to, you know, we, we don't have it to do, to do war with the beast. If whole fucking countries like North Korea aren't powerful enough to destroy America by themselves, what the fuck would make you think that our regular, no, no weapons of mass destruction having asses can do to, to, to even begin a fight against America. No, our, our battle, our fight is spiritual. What we're doing is a spiritual thing because we, we're trying to raise an army, but not to, not, to, not to begin a fight. We're trying to raise up an army so that we can have our spirits together first and foremost. And we don't, and, and here's the whole kicker about it. We don't even know who's in that army. I don't know if I'm in that army. Because I'm sitting here calling myself an Israelite. You don't know what I'm going to be doing a week, two weeks from now. You know, not saying that I, that I think I will do any anything else, but, you know, you, you just never know. I'm not the same person I was five years ago. I've matured, I've grown. You know, but one thing I can safely tell you is that no Israelite would dare take up arms as a means to 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 try to do any like take down the kingdom or 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 shoot a fucking Jewish person or none of that shit. Shoot a cop, nah. You know, I'm 100% with that fuck the police shit, but I'm not really trying to shoot no cop or no dumb shit like that. That's fucking stupid. That's the end of your life if you shoot a cop. I might go through depression, but I ain't, I ain't never going through that goddamn much depression. If you ever if you ever hear about me doing anything to a cop, it's cuz I'm bending them bending them in half like a piece of paper when I get my spiritual power, but <laughs> as far as in this kingdom until Jesus comes back, we, we're all peaceful. Just don't put your hands on none of us. That's it. It's all, we're, we're peace, man. We're peace. We're not about shooting nobody. So I, uh, I'm tired as fuck, man. But anyway, with that.
with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the house of David, salutations to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity, to you Israelite foreigners come back home to the truth, to those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first, Shalom.